In this video, we will get a demo of Spring Boot Initializer. So probably you heard the term Spring Initializer, right? So Spring Initializer is a website where we can actually uh, create and uh, bootstrap Spring Boot applications. So it, Spring Boot, uh, Spring Initializer, it's uh, it like a tool uh, created by Spring Team to quickly bootstrap the applications. So what is a Spring Initializer? So as I said, Spring Initializer is a great tool developed by Spring Team to quickly bootstrap your Spring Boot projects. Yeah, it's a website where we can quickly create and bootstrap the project. Okay, so there are many ways to create a Spring Boot project, but uh, uh, this Spring Initializer is the simplest way to create and bootstrap our Spring Boot projects. So this is a website where basically we go and select our dependencies. Uh, it actually uh, create a Maven or Gradle project for us, and then uh, we can actually import that project into uh, our ID like Eclipse, Inclusion, NetBeans, and so on. So that uh, so that's the basic idea of Spring Initializer, and. Uh, and for so uh, for actually development process so first thing uh, we'll do is to configure our project at spring initializer website and then uh, we download the project uh, that it cre uh, creates for us and then we'll actually unzip that file and then finally we'll import that uh, Marvin project into uh, our IDE all right so let's go ahead and deep dive in and let's get started Okay, let's go ahead and open up a web browser and so so you can see uh, this is a website where uh, uh, here you can see uh, we have uh, this, uh, we are here at a spring initializer uh, uh, website now so there are uh, there are, so we can generate um, uh, different kind of projects so here we have selected a Marvin project and the language uh, uh, we can choose either java kotlin or gui so i choose a default language that is a java and uh, here you can see the different release of spring boot so i choose the latest version of uh, spring boot here so don't select a uh, snapshot uh, because it's in beta or alpha stage so always remember to choose uh, latest release uh, release of spring boot project Alright, so let's uh, move into project metadata. Uh, here we need to enter group ID uh, that identifies the uniqueness of your project among all the project. Uh, in our case, I will give Java not net, net dot Java dot guides dot Spring Boot. So uh, Java guides dot net is my website name. So always remember uh, the naming convention of group ID is uh, uh, domain reverse like uh, net dot java guides dot spring boot. So for artifact I will give spring boot first app. So uh, artifact is uh, is nothing but an application name. And here in option section you can provide a name and description for uh, this project and here for packaging i choose a jar because we are creating a simple standalone spring Boot project with the embedded tubget server and i choose java 8 and in a dependency section uh, let's uh, let's pick up for spring web starter so uh, this starter we choose because we are creating a simple uh, web application or rest api application Okay, uh, this is uh, pretty much we have configured our project. Now, uh, now we we click. Uh, let's let me click on uh, generate the project, and it will it will create a zip file of this configured project. So here is zip file is downloaded. Then I unzip the file, and let's uh, import this uh, project into our Eclipse ID. So here is the Eclipse. Let's uh, go ahead and import uh, our project into Eclipse ID. Let's go to the import section. Here you can choose choose existing Marvin project. Go to the next browse. So here uh, 
we are here let's select spring boot post app and you can see here it is a jar file hit finish uh, now here you can see we have imported our sp sp spring boot project now so uh, here you can see couple of uh, errors uh, in a, you can see either in a pom.xml or in, in a project section here uh, it's a red cross so we have selected the latest version of spring boot that's why probably the uh, xlips doesn't support it uh, in a future release it may support uh, for time being uh, we can we can uh, temporarily fix this issue by by in, by entering some uh, marvin commands so here you can see uh, i have added this uh, this element here marvin jar plugin dot version uh, it's a 3.1.1 so this error mainly appears in eclipse id uh, probably in future release uh, this might be fixed okay uh, here you can see uh, that uh, error uh, error should uh, go on from this uh, pom.xml right so uh, here you can see one more error uh, that is a red cross so in order to solve that issue we need to update a marvin just go to the marvin and click on update project So here we go. The red cross uh, issue is gone from the project. Now uh, you can see typically uh, this is the default project structure the Spring Initializer has generated. And now uh, we can customize this project as per our need. So if you can see, let me run this project. So in upcoming videos, uh, we will learn. Uh, more about each and every file and uh, we'll more we'll learn more about spring boot okay now you, you can see uh, our uh, spring boot application is started on embedded tomcat on port 8080 okay uh, so in the next video we'll create our rest apis and we'll we'll test the rest apis through rest clients okay so um, uh, so i will see you in next video Thank you.